Hello and welcome to this um, video tutorial. Now this, this is kind of more of like a theor theoretical um, tutorial uh, based upon uh, how do you determine when your app starts whether the user's logged in or not logged in, right, with Firebase. And you want to show a different view based upon whether the user is logged in or not logged in. So in this scenario we're going to say we have public content and secret content. In order for a user to see the secret content, they need to be logged in with Firebase or authenticated with Firebase. Now, if they're not authenticated with Firebase, they'll see the public content, but they'll have the opportunity to then authenticate themselves so as they can see it. But we don't want that the two um, contents know about um, the changing of the, the views. We just want to know that they, they lock themselves in and something elsewhere is the thing that switches whether they're, they're viewed or not viewed, okay? So let's flip over to um, the storyboard right here. And what I've created are, um, let's get rid of some of this. It's two, two, um, view controllers in a storyboard. One, as you can see, says public content, and the other says secret user content. And the public content button says log in as super user, and the other one says log out on the secret user content. Now, what the login as super user does on the action is it, it signs into Firebase using email authentication, which I can show you um, in the public content, and it signs in um, using the email authentication already, and uh, but it doesn't do anything else after that. It just prints out the text, and this is something that's important to, to know. It just logs the person in. It doesn't do anything else. It doesn't send a signal elsewhere. It just does that. Now, in the secret content, the sign out user does nothing more than sign the user out, and it doesn't inform anyone else. So there's no delegates, there's no nothing. Just sign out and finished. So in order to do this, what there are, is in Firebase is a method called add state did change listener. All right. And this is based upon the state of the user. And the completion handler will provide you with the auth here, which we don't need, and a user, an optional user. So it's either going to be nil or not nil. And if it is nil, then that means the user isn't logged in anymore or isn't authenticated anymore. If it's sorry, if it's not nil, it means the user is authenticated. If it is nil, the user is not authenticated. All right. And so in this situation, we're going to switch user. I'm going to say case nil, right? Then we're going to show the public content. And if it's not nil, we're going to show the secret content. Now here, what I've done is I've made two. Um, saved variables one is active controller that's going to be the active view controller and then the navigation controller so we can access it um, we configure the firebase app of course get reference to the storyboard um, at the beginning and then we fire this auth um, state did change listener and then we create the um, the public controller secret controller and so on and we'll set the uh, active controller based upon whether or not the user is logged in initially without a completion handler, right? And this will set the navigation controller and the root view controller based upon um, a synchronous form of it. Now, the, this will be, this will be um, triggered and every single time the state of the user changes, this method will change. Um, we triggered and we're doing nothing more than here than um, saying hey if the active controller is already the secret content view controller um, Then we want to change it to the public one right if it's already the public one Then we don't have to do anything so we can just ignore it and the other one does it in reverse So if it is already the public view view controller Then we don't then we can change it to the secret all right, so it's just basically swapping them around so let's have a look at what it does. And so it's already got the secret user content because I was already logged in, right? But if we log out, and you'll see down the bottom, user has been signed out. And uh, then we log in as super user. And then you'll see login as super user. Now, if I print 
um, auth state did change, yeah? And we'll just say user here, and we'll run it again, right? So this time you can see um, what's going on. Okay, so we see down the bottom, auth state did change with a user there. And we log out, um, auth state did change is now nil, and we log back in again, auth state did change. Now, just to show you, um, is not equal to nil. So, um, user was logged in on starts up. All right, so now we're expecting to see user was logged, logged in, uh, leave it. Okay, user was logged in on startup. We see the secret content already, and then we see all state did change, and we see the Firebase user. Now, if we log out and we stop the app and run it again, then it will go in a different direction. All right, so we won't get user was logged in on startup. Okay, we just get all state did change. All right, is nil, and then once again. So this is it. Um, this is a way that, in my opinion, you can separate your app into two different avenues. One is authenticated, one is not authenticated. And this, this side where the, the user is not authenticated, you can have a tree of, of a, a sub view controllers and so on that move all the way up until the user is authenticated enough that the root, the root view controller of your application can be switched to secret content or authenticated content. Right? That's it. This was just like a how I do it type thing, but I literally wrote this code in about 10 minutes. So you would kind of extract it a little bit further and do it a little bit differently if it was going to be a production app. All right. But um, that's it. If you do have any questions, please put them in the comments below. If you liked it, then thumbs up. Um, it's well worthwhile subscribing to my channel if you like my videos. Um, so as you can get notified of the new videos that come out, um, press the notification bell. If you didn't like it, thumbs down and uh, please write a comment though of what you didn't like and then I can give you some feedback and then maybe I can change the video or do another one. Um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching and I wish you a fantastic evening.